Hey, welcome back to Tasting the City. I'm Terry. I'm Zane. And we're going to talk about sandwiches today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes you're just not in the mood for a hamburger, yeah. but you still like a little beef with it. Yes. Yeah, well, actually, something that's kind of taken root in our area and must have a lot of transplants, of course, Florida being as transient as it is, and that's the Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak, which is from what town? Philadelphia, of course. Philadelphia. The namesake. And they make it different down here, of course. Yeah, yeah we have some that make it authentic. Uh, they even import their rolls from Philly. And others, like we're going to show you a place called Fortunato's, does it on a pizza roll that they make in-house. And this is a good place. So let's mosey on down to Fortunato's. Since 1977, Fortunato's has been serving up great Italian food. They're located at 7700 Starkey Road in beautiful Largo. So we're going to go inside and we have heard, actually we've heard from you guys, that they have a great Philly cheese steak sandwich. So let's go inside and let's get one. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? What's your name? Giancarlo Fortunato. Um, this is Fortunato's Italian Pizzeria. Been in business since 1972. Started off in Maryland. Um, my family's restaurant. Uh, we serve pizza, calzones, um, steak and cheese, meatball subs, pretty much anything Italian you could like. Wow, I've heard you guys have got a good Philly cheesesteak, is that uh, so? You heard right, sir, you heard right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, could we uh, have a little sample of one of those? I think we could do that. Maybe I could have the chef make you one real quick, sir. All right, cool, let's do that. Oh, we're back in the kitchen. What's your name? My name is Steve. Steve, Terry. Pleased to meet you. And uh, the base of every good sandwich is this bread, right? Yes, sir. So where do you guys buy your bread? I'm sorry, we do not buy our bread. We make our bread here on premises. So you make your own bread? Yes, we do. Ah. So you want to show me how you do that? Well, I can show you the basic concept and how we even do our garlic knots here. Okay. This is pretty much some of our bread that we use to complement any of our dinners as well as our salads. So Almost. this is the same bread that you use on the sandwich? Yes, we do. But only the on same the, dough, I should yes, say. Yes, the same dough. Obviously, the, the bread uh, that we use for our sandwiches is made in a different form. But the principle is pretty much all commonly the same. So we found the basis of the sandwich, which is the bread. And we saw that being made. Now for the interior. This is your job, right? Yeah. And what's your name? Ramon. 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 And what's your name standing in the background there? Tiffany. Tiffany and Ramon. So you're going to show us how you make a Philly cheese, right? Yeah. Okay, let me stand out of the way and you go to work. So you throw the steak on the griddle. Well, it looks good. Again, we don't have smell vision but if we did, you could smell the beef. Mmm. Little pepper, a little salt. Very simple ingredients. So you're throwing in some french fries. Can hear them sizzling in the back. Man, that looks good. That really looks good. Let's go ahead and eat it, want to? Yeah. All right, let's go. Mmm. That looks like the one we fixed in the back, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, I'm going to, could you hold this while I dive in? Yeah. Okay, hold that Ramon. There you go. All right. Oh, it's still hot, too. <laughs> Mm, the bread is crusty on the outside, soft on the inside. Beef, mmm, that is American cheese. So many can cheese. Yeah, that's great. Mmm, this pizza crust bread really makes it unique because it's not like a little French bread kind of thing. It's a pizza, and the Philly cheese in here with the American cheese, white American cheese, I might add. Um, and the beef, it's delicious. Excuse me while I snarf this down. Right. Mm. Mm. Well, Ramon, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. We're going to go say goodbye to John and uh, enjoy. I'm going to finish this first. John, I want to thank you for having us at your restaurant and uh, treating us so well. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem, sir. Thank you for coming to check us out. Yeah, it's Terry, but sir is okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now tell me, uh, do you guys have a website? Oh uh, Yeah, it's uh, fortunatositalianpizzeria.com. 
We got the full menu on there. Um, call, we have a drive through pickup window. You could always just call ahead and drive right through and pick it up. So call in, eat in, doesn't matter, right? No, sir, it does not matter, Terry. <laughs> okay, thanks, John, appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your time. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. Matter of fact, it was delicious. I'd say, I better pretty good. <laughs> that, that fresh pizza roll is crunchy and chewy and very good. And it's good. Well, let's try a little different one this time. Yeah, I've heard original. about, uh, matter of fact, uh, we was recommended by uh, two guys, uh, Scott Gibson and um, uh, uh, Uncle Steve recommended this, yeah. mm -hmm. and he said it's Jim's famous. Yeah, and our friends from uh, Dime City eat there as well. Oh uh, yeah, all the boys from Dime City. They, so this is multiple recommendations yeah. coming here. So let's go take a look at Jim's famous Philly cheese place. We're at Big Jim's Famous, and this was recommended highly by our good friends Scott Gibson and Uncle Steve. Also, the boys at Dime City, which is about a couple blocks over, eat here all the time, too. So they said, you've got to try the beef here. And so that's why we're here. Now, they're located at 9220 Omerton, and they're about a quarter of a mile east of Starkey. So that gives you kind of a, a little area of where they are. And yes, there are cars driving by. You can hear them squeaking. <laughs> we're out here doing this live. So let's go inside. Let's take a look and let's see what they have. Hey, you must be Big Jim. Yes, sir. I knew that because on your shirt. Yep, Big Jim is famous steaks and draft house. Wow, and where are you guys located? 9220 Omerton Road, Largo, quarter mile west of Stark. I have heard by recommendation that you guys have a great Philly cheesesteak. Is that true? Absolutely, absolutely. Could we watch you fix one and then maybe eat one? Yeah, you sure can. You sure can. Why don't you follow me back to the kitchen? All right, let's do it. Let's go. Now we're standing over the shoulder of the cook here at Big Jim's famous Philly cheesesteak. And like most kitchens, it's noisy, but things are always going on. Looks like they got the beef. I ordered it just with peppers, because I'm not a big onion guy. It looks like it's cooking up. Mmm, that looks good. That does look good. White American cheese. White American. White American again. Oh, yeah. She's almost ready, guys. She's almost ready. Now you got your buns. <laughs> Only the freshest Amorosa, my friends. Amorosa buns fresh. That is correct. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we have it, guys. Just the thing for a light snack, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The sandwich, what I'm eating. That's our 12-inch uh, Philadelphia cheesesteak, uh, Amorosa rolls. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all we use is an Amorosa roll made in Philadelphia shipped down uh, weekly to us. Um, Chips? Well, uh, that's just a regular old potato chip. Ruffles. <laughs> Ruffles. <laughs> Anyhow, that's, uh, we use uh, fresh cut ribeye steak, nothing frozen, um, fresh peppers, fresh onions, and uh, you taste why we're famous. Mmm. Jim. This is good. The cheese flavors all together with the peppers in there. And then what kind of meat is this? Ribeye. Ribeye. So this is ribeye. Got just the right amount of juice in it. Which means a little fat in it. And this is delicious. The bun is really soft. Compresses when you bite it. This is excellent. Jim, now I see why you're famous. That's why we're famous. That's our motto. Come taste why we're famous. <laughs> this is great. Now, you guys got a website? Yeah, BigJimSteaks.com. BigJimSteaks.com. You on Facebook too? Facebook, same thing. BigJimSteaks.com? Big, Big Jim's Famous on Facebook. Okay, Big Jim's Famous. Okay, we'll have links to that. When we're talking, they'll be right underneath here. Mm -hmm. So we, people can see it while we're talking. Well, Jim, thank you very much for inviting us down to your place. Thank you. Appreciate Highly it. recommended by our, our people, uh, Scott and Steve, and the boys at Dime City. And we're out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're out of here. Come by. Boy, back to back Philly cheese. I'm yeah. still in the mood for some beef, but not a Philly cheesesteak. How about, want to try roast beef? Ooh, roast beef sounds good. Ooh, Ooh you remember, Big Fred's. Remember Big Fred's. Big Fred's. Yeah. Let's go for one of his uh, home baked buns. Yeah. Big and Fred's roast famous beef. roast beef, man. We got to try it. Let's go. Big Fred's 
and Big Fred's is at 1629 North Hercules. And so GPS that, take you right here. And believe me, you would never find this place unless you were looking for it. It's almost like in a residential area with just a little short uh, strip shopping center. Of course, Big Fred is the home of the Buccaneer Burger. And of all places, this is in Clearwater. Hey, John, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm nice doing good. to see you again. You, you might remember John from the, from the burger episode we did, but I understand that you have a wicked roast beef. The best roast beef you've ever had, my friend. And if you're hungry, I'm more than willing to make you one. We're always hungry. There you go. Take us to the kitchen. If you follow me, we'll go. Walk this way. <laughs> What we got here is a nice toasted onion roll. It's toasted to perfection. It does not burn. It's made with eggs. And the best way of having our roast beef is three-way. This was originated back in 1969 in Salem, Massachusetts. The way three-way is, it's barbecue sauce, cheese, and mayonnaise, and a half a pound of nice, freshly cooked beef Holy smothered in barbecue sauce and covered and that's all there is to it my friend oh wow that looks delicious and this is the best beef you will ever have well let's go try it let's see if we can get a server there you go we got it chrissy hey, pick up and here comes chrissy hey, oh boy awesome. Enjoy your beef three -way. Awesome. well thank you very much oh boy this looks delicious I'm just gonna jump in on this one, Zane. Oh, here, hold that for me. I will, my friend. Okay. I had something here. That my new job. You have never seen before. Okay. It's a nice size bite over there. Mmm. Well, that's good. The barbecue sauce got a little sweetness. A little bit of spice and a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. Roast beef is nice and lean, my friend. That is. Really lean roast beef. Just a little bit of the cheese. I'm getting to it in a minute. But this is good. This is almost finger food, guys. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. It's the best mm. beef around here. It's the best kept secret in clear water. I think so. Take a bite over here so I get the cheese with it. And this is called a three-way? It's a three-way. Originated in 1969 back up in Salem, Massachusetts. What? Who was the guy in Salem, Mass? A little guy named Freddie Tebow. That's who Big Fred's is named after. Oh. Little Italian guy. He stood about five feet tall, but the place sure rocked. Boy, this is delicious. Well, thank you guys very much, Chrissy. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And John, thank, thank you very much. Friend. That was a delicious sandwich. Thank and of course, you. I'm gonna demolish this off camera because you don't need to see me being a pig all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but this is great. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Roast beef, we're at Big Fred's. We're in Clearwater. We're on Hercules. It's hard to find a well worth it. Melt in your mouth roast beef, wasn't that? Oh man, it's with a heavy heart. You know, we, John at Big Fred's is having to take care of some family issues and uh, he doesn't really have anybody to take care of his restaurant. So if you go there, it might yeah. not be there. Yeah, so check before you go, but great food. And we want to thank him for putting out such great product, yeah. letting us come. Thanks, John. Welcome to Tasting the City. And we're always looking for sponsors. And you know what? <laughs> you found this page. We live in such a wonderful place, a beautiful place, and not only people from our area are looking at this, but people from all over the world are looking at this website, Tasting the City, and they're looking at all the things that we have here. You too could have your business on this website advertising because even if they don't live here, everybody in the world wants to come to Florida. Hey, welcome back. And welcome back for me too. So where are we gonna go next? Uh, let's head down to Pinellas Park to Jodo's Pizza. Since 1974, yeah. serving pizza, and they have a really good Philly cheesesteak there, too. Yeah, nice selection of subs, but very good Philly. Well, what, what are we telling you about this? Let's just go see Time what you're looking come. for. Beef. A hamburger is just not quite enough. And you need a Philly cheesesteak or a good Italian beef sandwich. 
And what better place to go than Jodas? Jodas is at, as you can tell, it's right next to the street, at 8080 49th Street in Pinellas Park. Conveniently located, easy to find, and their history goes back to 1974. Hey, we're at Jodas Pizza, and who are you? Sharon. Sharon Manning. Sharon Manning, and Sharon, I've heard you guys have a really good, like a Philly steak sandwich here. Oh yeah, we think so. <laughs> oh, would you mind if we watched you make one? No problem. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay. Okay. We start by cutting the bread, right? Of course. Cut the bread first. We have our our hot steak, and ours comes with cheese and onion, unless you you know request it a different way, or we add mushrooms if you want them, green peppers if you like. But traditionally, it's you know onions and cheese. And uh, where'd you get your bread from? Uh, Giovanni's Bakery. They've been our bakery for oh god, as long as I can remember, and I've been here 35 years. So. <laughs> oh well. So so this restaurant's got a little history to it too. Then. Oh yes. So what kind of cheese are you putting on there? Provolone. Provolone, yep. okay. Provolone, and we wrap ours up in foil so the bun doesn't get too done. And, and then it goes into the oven, uh, melt the cheese, and give it a little bit of crisp. All right. And I pass along to Mr. Dustin here. Well, it looks like we've been delivered our, our Philly cheese steak. And I'm just going to dissect it here a little bit. But it looks like it got, ooh, plenty of nice roast beef. It's got a little cheese with it, provolone. I'm just going to sample the meat first. Mmm, it's good flavor. Nice flavor, actually. Bun is nice and hefty. I think this is going to be a two hand project, but I'll try it with one. Delightful. And you guys can sit and watch me eat if you want to. Just a good sandwich here at Zodas. In fact, it's bordering on a great sandwich. Filling. Probably one of these during the midday would take you almost to lunch. Okay, thank you very much. And your name again was? Sharon Manning. Sharon Manning, and, and Sharon, you're one of the owners here? Mm-hmm, well, yes, I am. Thank you very much for serving us. Now, where are you guys located again? 8080 49th Street in Pinellas Park. And if you got a phone number? Mm-hmm, it's 544-6694. Uh, so if you're looking for delivery, you can get it delivered too, yes. right? Yes, you can. All right. Well, good. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. But, you know, after you're out, maybe you have a few beers and go to some of the craft breweries that are around here and watch the sunset, of course. And then, you know, you hang around at some place for, you know, four or five hours. And then it's about two, three o'clock in the morning. What do you eat then? Boy. I know there's some chains out there that people go to, but we found a oh, place no. that's excellent. <laughs> I know there's a place that they say the sun never sets, and there's a good reason for that. <laughs> well, well, yeah. well we, we've met a guy named Shlomo's, again, highly recommended by some of our fans. Highly recommended by some and of our he's fans. He's over in Palm Harbor off US 19, and I'm telling you what, if you like good sandwiches, you're just gonna, they're gonna blow you away. They're gonna blow you away. Mama Rosa's in the kitchen watching over everything. Yeah. And well, what am I telling yeah. you about this? Let's just go, let's go. Yeah, we're here at uh, Shlomo Sub and Deli at 31483 North US 19 in Palm Harbor. Cause every once in a while you just get in the mood for a good deli sandwich. Now this place is not only open early, but it's open until four o'clock in the morning. Now that could be early too, but Anyway, if you're looking for a late night snack and you just gotta have something deli, slow mo. Howdy, howdy, you must be George's. Yes, sir. Well, nice to meet you. Same here, welcome to Shlomo. Well, thank you very much. So this is a slow mo steak, right? Yes, sir, slow mo steak. But slow mo steak is uh, practically, it's like a, a Philly steak, but we put a uh, touch on it, we put like a garlic spread on it. Like you see, that's a slow mo chicken steak right there. Everything done nice and fresh, red meat, Nothing pre-cooked, nothing salted, all grilled and spiced, fresh. Raw onion. Oh boy. Raw green peppers. A little onion and pepper. Then right here, here, a little bit of mushroom. Dropping some mushroom. Some shlomo spice. Shlomo spice is about 25 to 27 spices. We 
perfect. We have like a little oregano in there, mint, and we do have all spices. We have a, a cumin, a cumin inside. We have some spices from Middle East and some spices from Italy. Some of the spices come from Finland. And we mixed it all together, and that's been a very successful recipe for the last six years. I've never heard of Finnish spices. Yeah, it's, it's just so, no, uh, Finland. Spices from Finland. Finland? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I said I've never heard of yeah, it's some Finland spices. spices. Comes, it comes from Finland. We buy it from Finland. We get it direct here. And Again, it secret together. spices. Yes, sir. Oh, we call them shlomo spices. Shlomo spices. And what are we putting on this? Garlic the, spread. Homemade, ah. homemade garlic spread. And make it a little longer. It's almost ready. A couple more seconds to be ready. We need to mix the garlic bread really well in it. And then we put it in the, the hoagie rolls and we send it through the toasters. And we'll put whatever cheese you want around. Some people like provolone. A lot of people like provolone cheese, but we prefer uh, American cheese on it. We put American better. cheese on it. It better tastes better, but if you guys will put provolone cheese on it. And this is almost ready. A couple more seconds. It should be ready. It looks delicious. It's ready now. I'm just amazed at the skill of getting all of that on one bun. That would be a normal size sandwich in most places. What, what is left on the grill? I mean. This is provolone? Yes, sir. Uh, boar's head. Provolone by boar's head. All the cheese in the meat, it's all boar's head here. It's the whole store, it's 100% boar's head. We do not bring any other cheeses or any meats. Well, that's top quality stuff. Yes, sir. You need a little push so it can fit. There you go, it's in already. Now we start on the other sandwich right here by the time the other one comes. It takes like a minute, minute and a half to come out. Okay. Holy cow. Look at the size of this thing. I can't wait to dig it. Because they'll share it. So this sandwich is made for sharing. Practically, yes, a lot of people, <laughs> all if you eat it by yourself, you fall asleep. <laughs> Guaranteed you fall asleep. Oh, man. Where do we start? Well, I'll wait till George's get here. Then we'll okay, start. let's start here. Let's see what this is. Obviously, he needs the fork. He can't. Oh, well, you know. Oh, that is good. The cheese, the meat. Try a little of bread too. I'm used to eating with my fingers. That's awesome. It's a Missouri thing. That's where oh, I'm okay. from. <laughs> this, how do you, how do you describe all this? That's your problem. Yeah, hold my mic. I, I need to uh, take a bite of this. So I think this, first of all, Robert, the way to see the peanut and the grain, I think I'll play them on the side and do a contract. Boy, that beef is juicy. The veggies in it. What, you got peppers in there too? Yeah. It's uh, mushroom, onion, and pepper, they all chop daily. We chop them daily fresh. They're not sauteed, they're not pre-cooked. It goes on the grill with you, the meat. You can tell it. Boy, this is good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There's no way to eat this uh, you know, you diplomatically. That's <laughs> why so we give you a fork. That, that's why I was eating with a fork, but this is great. This is a wonderful sandwich. That was a very filling episode. Ah, yes, yes. I might have to work out a little bit extra just because of that. But. People ask us, you know, it's a Philly, is it an authentic, 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 <laughs> yeah. well, it could be orthotic too, but is it an authentic Philly cheesesteak? And we'll go, no, it's not Mike and Jimmy's like you get in No, Philly. not exactly, no. It is not wit or wit out, but it's got its own little twist on it. And are they good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you bet your bottom dollar they're good. So the, we just wanted to give you a little taste of Philadelphia down here in Florida. 
So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tasting the City and come back for more. Come back for more. We're going to come back for more. <laughs>